how did I go from this to this and from this to this? I want you to get into my mind, follow my thought process and see everything in terms of probabilities. Hello everyone, welcome back to Smart Money Source. My name is Augusto, for those who don't know me. I have a special surprise for all of you. I will be giving away a one-on-one -on, -one on each one of the videos I release. And if you want to participate, make sure to leave a like and comment hashtag SMS. You can ask me anything about trading, whether it be analysis or psychology, anything you need, I will be helping you guys. And of course, if you don't want to miss this opportunity, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, these are some of the analysis I did for my mentorship, and I want you to get in the way and follow the thought process step by step. How did I do to anticipate some of these moves and how you can do it and replicate it yourself when you are looking at the chart? Before we get into the analysis itself, I want you to understand something very important to me and it's whenever we open a chart and we do our analysis, we have two outcomes. We either win the trade or we lose the trade. We are wrong or we are right. Many times you try to follow your bias and in spite of price telling you that it was going to go the opposite direction, since you want to be right because it's more rewarding to be right than wrong, then you will try to find excuses or justifications on why you should hold a trade or why you should open that trade in spite of price telling you that it's going to the opposite way. And that's something that is very important. Whenever you see the chart, you have to see it in terms of probabilities. We as traders need to choose the most probable scenario according to our edge, according to our analysis. But we shouldn't be afraid of changing that bias whenever we are wrong. Luckily for us, we have been having a very good win streak these past weeks. But I want to talk specifically about a couple of analyses. So the first trade we're going to talk about is going to be this EURUSD analysis that I did a month ago, where we predicted that price was likely going to produce a bullish retracement into the order block that we called order block B, and then a continuation lower to external liquidity to 1.16. If you have been following EURUSD, that's exactly what happened. By the way, this is following the trending system that I taught you here on YouTube. If you haven't watched this video, I recommend you to check it. I will leave the link here. So the day that I posted this chart was August the 25th. So let's go into URZ, a new complete blank chart. So I don't have anything here. And let's go back to August the 25th. Just before we continue, I just had a thought that I want to share with you. Let's say that you, you have an analysis and the outcome for this analysis is that price is going to do A. When price is trying to produce this outcome and it's showing you that it's failing to do so, if it is not doing what it's supposed to do, then it's going to do the opposite. So that simple thing is going to change a little bit what you are expecting for price. Now I will quickly walk you through my thought process when I look at URZ that day. So the first thing we need to understand here, concept of mitigation. When an order block is built, for example, let's take into consideration this order block, we know that Smart Money bought and sold inside of this. Now, if Smart Money is trying to push higher because we come from a bigger accumulation here, then they need to mitigate this order block. In other words, they need to close the shorts because if price continues pushing higher, these shorts are going to be in a drawdown. If we are Smart Money and we have some, and we have some short orders open here and we want to close them, then that means that we want to long, but we don't want to long up here. We want to long in a level where we are at least a break even and ideally in profit. Assuming that we have a lot of shorts open here, we want to close the short below that level. That's why we have this pullback here. But then when price tried to push higher, trying to follow the bullish order flow, it failed. Why is price failing? Because probably they want to mitigate this order flow one more time. Basically, they want to long again. We need someone to be shorting so we can actually open the longs. Basically, we need sell stuff. And here we have the perfect low, which is this one. This low is sitting at a level of an imbalance, at a level where we previously broke the market structure and we didn't test it. So it makes a lot of sense for price to try to get into this level where we have enough liquidity to close the shorts that we have here pending and then try to push higher one more time. Now, how can we mix this thought process with the lower time frame biases? Because here we have a lot of things going on, right? Well. Let's simplify this a little bit. We have an uptrend here, higher high, higher low. Now that we are on the daily chart, we can quickly identify that we have a bearish order flow because we have a downtrend. We made a lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Now you might be thinking why I am not taking into consideration this low and saying that this is the actual trend. We made a lower low, lower high and lower low. Why I'm not looking at this order flow? Well, there is something going on here. The same thing that we are anticipating to happen on the higher time frame can be seen on this lower time frame. What do we see here? 
We have this all weekly and monthly low where we know there is a lot of liquidity and it represents external liquidity. And here to the left, we have a nodal block that has been mitigated with this move. And now price is getting into this level one more time and mitigating it again. That means that if money has some orders, some longs order that need to be closed in profit here, in order for them to close this long, they need to short. And for them to be able to short, they need someone to be longing. In other words, we need to find a pool of liquidity containing buy stop within the parameters of this bearish downtrend. And as you can see here, we have this high. That was the last high before price made a lower low, taking the external liquidity and before hitting this order book. So this high is now a target for price to grab the liquidity, close some of these longs, and then send price lower and start accumulating more orders again. So following that thought process, now we see this as internal liquidity of this bigger range, and we are anticipating price to push higher into this very short book, whereas my money previously accumulating short again, and send price lower again to grab the liquidity. And that's exactly what happened in this case. And that's how we predicted this specific move on USD. What is the next logical move? Well, according to our weekly and daily charts, we are now feeling this imbalance. We are probably going to mitigate this order book. And once price accumulate enough orders, we're going to continue pushing higher because the purpose of this accumulation hasn't been met. What is the purpose? External liquidity. Where is the external liquidity? Above this bearish order book that hasn't been taken yet. So 1.25 is, I think, the next logical step for USD. Now I want to talk about this totally different trade. This is a scalp that we took on the 15 second chart. This was the entry, only two pips stop loss, and I take profit of about 10 pips. This was a trade, it hit a maximum of seven hours. I actually ended up taking another trade. As you can see here, I was posting the updates and I was looking for a better uh, confirmation for this trade and I ended up taking this one instead. What can we see here on the one hour chart price is clearly on a downtrend. We don't need to mark this up. We are making lower lows and lower highs. Beautiful. We have a very big imbalance here, basically an inefficient price action that could potentially be filled. And we have an immediate redistribution here that was recently broken and price never tested it. Price is now coming from making a lower low from a higher time frame order block, just feeling a tiny little imbalance that we have left here. There were a lot of conditions aligned to think that price was likely going to produce a bullish retracement. Now, if we take a look at this, after a consolidation, price made a lower low, and after this lower low, price made a high high now, breaking this previous consolidation. So what do I see here? If I have to quickly address what is happening here in terms of orders and what is smart money doing? Well, if we have a consolidation and price went lower, that means that this was distribution. Small money accumulated shorts. Then if we have a consolidation price push higher, that means that this is an accumulation. Small money accumulated longs and push higher. The fact that we are breaking this distribution means that they, they do not longer care about the shorts that they had previously opened here. That means that now we are in a bullish order flow. And if we look here, the most recent price action is telling me that price build this equal lows or this bullish sentiment took that liquidity out by pushing lower, getting into again an imbalance and the order block, and now it's trying to push higher. So since price is now trying to push higher, what is the next logical move? Well, at least to make a higher high above this high, because if price is coming from grabbing internal liquidity, now the next logical step is to grab external liquidity. Now having that higher time frame, in this case one hour chart bullish bias, we are going to get into a lower time frame. Now into a 15 second chart, as you can see, this was the move that grabbed the liquidity internally and now price is pushing higher. This is the next logical target for price. And we can see different processes of accumulation, reaccumulation, and reaccumulation right here. Now, if we mark this with a path tool to make it easier, we have a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, and now higher low. As you can see, this move down, grabbed liquidity below this low, internal liquidity field, again an imbalance, and now testing the unmitigated reaccumulation and from here price is pushing higher so at the moment that we were looking at this i identified it as a reaccumulation and when we had this break or market structure i decided that this was a good level to look for longs why because this order block grabbed liquid internally was built around a higher time frame order block the target hasn't been met here 
and this order block is not built around equal low so there is no inducement for sellers because there is no bullish sentiment being built around this order block this is telling me that this is a perfect level to for long so this was basically a trade an entry at the start of this order block right there and the stop loss below it now when the price was approaching this level i was looking for yet another confirmation as you can see we have a tiny little consolidation here stop hand to the upside a stop hand to the downside this is happening within my bullish order block that we i had previously marked here on the left and I was waiting for another breaker market structure that came up here. So as soon as this new breaker market structure happened, now we identify a new potential entry, which in this case was this imbalance, this order block. So this is another setup that can be another different trade or the trade sell with a smaller stop loss. And well, as you can see, this ended up working fantastically, meeting the target. We reached the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you want to participate for the free one-on-one, don't forget to drop a like and comment hashtag SMS.